Hello and welcome to Synthetic Oil Info. Uh, in this video, I wanted to talk about a recent, uh, relatively recently released uh, service bulletin from Chrysler Corporation uh, that was released back in July, I think it was, of 2012. Uh, let me get it pulled back up here. Yeah, June 27th, I'm sorry, of 2012. And the subject is Engine Oil Consumption Guideline. And this uh, service bulletin applies to 2012 and 2013 Ram trucks, uh, Jeep vehicles, and Chrysler vehicles that are equipped with gasoline engines. Uh, it doesn't really specify what size of engine, just any gasoline engine in those vehicles, which is a pretty broad group. Um, Chrysler is now saying that it's okay for those engines to use one quart of oil uh, every 2,000 miles up to the point where the vehicle ha or the engine has 2,000 miles on it. I'm sorry, and until it has. 50,000 miles on it. And then uh, if it has more than 50,000 miles on the engine, the oil consumption can go all the way up to one quart every 750 miles. Uh, but then there's a note that says if you drive these vehicles aggressively or you use them for commercial purposes, for towing, taxi, anything like that, uh, oil consumption can go as high as one quart every 500 miles. Uh, that really protects Chrysler uh, if your vehicles start using oil and you start complaining about it, they don't have to do anything about it now uh, as long as the vehicle or the engine is not using more oil than those limits, uh, which if your vehicle was using one quart of oil every 500 miles, uh, you know, you, you may be having a problem. But um, what they don't talk about in this service bulletin uh, that is really the cause of the problem uh, is the viscosity or the weight of the oil that they are now calling for, because almost all of these companies are now calling for uh, oil down in the 20 weight range, either a 0W20 or a 5W20, um, and they're also running these engines hotter. They're putting in hotter thermostats. So now you have, like we talked about in another video, uh, or the, on the turbocharger video, uh, you have a hotter running engine, uh, that is running lighter viscosity oil uh, and they they are not specifying that you have to run synthetic oil in these vehicles. They don't want to do that because people will react negatively to that uh, because people will think that that's driving the cost of ownership up. Uh, but it seems like people are okay putting a quart of oil in their car every 500 to 1,000 miles uh, when all they would really have to do is go to a full synthetic oil like Amsoil uh, that is much less volatile. And by volatile, we mean that it does not cook off uh, under heat because that's exactly what's happening in these engines is that these engines, like I said, they're running hotter, they have hotter thermostats, uh, and that really lightweight 0W20 or 5W20, in most cases probably 5W20 because they're calling for conventional oil, uh, simply cannot operate uh, for prolonged periods under these temperatures and these loads. Uh, so it's helping those vehicles get better fuel economy uh, when Chrysler is doing their corporate average fuel economy calculations, or CAFE as it's called, um, for across their entire fleet. You know, that 5W20 oil may be helping them achieve a, you know, a tenth or two tenths of a mile per gallon difference on a test track. And so they're calling for that oil uh, in their cars and, and trucks, uh, but when you get out into the real world and start pushing that oil uh, or pushing those engines and those engines heat up, then they're going to start using oil because that 5W20 conventional oil is vaporizing. So the best thing you can do is to put in uh, a full synthetic oil, such as Amsoil Signature Series or XL lines, uh, even the OE line will help address this. It just doesn't have as long of a drain interval um, because synthetic oil, especially the Signature Series, uh, is formulated with a higher quality base oil and additives and it resists vaporization much better than a conventional oil can. So those engines can still run hotter. You can still push them as hard as you want and that oil will not cook off uh, because that oil won't even begin to start uh, entering into its uh, intermediate zone, as they call it, where it starts to get uh, susceptible or become susceptible to vaporization until well up into the 350 to 450 Fahrenheit degree range, 
uh, which at that point you're having bigger problems than your engine oil. The engine components are going to start failing. Uh, so th the best thing you can do uh, to address this problem with new Chrysler vehicles is to run a better oil. And the best oil that you can put in those vehicles is Amsoil Signature Series, which will protect you all the way out to 15 to 25,000 miles, depending on how you drive it and which vehicle it is. Or you can run the uh, XL line or the OE line of oils. Uh, those have a shorter drain interval, uh, and they're not going to resist the uh, vaporization quite as well as the Signature Series line does because they're made out of a Group 3 hydrocracked base stock. Uh, but they're going to protect uh, m much better than any conventional oil can. Uh, so if you own one of these vehicles or you have these vehicles in your fleet uh, that are, this bulletin applies to, uh, and it really applies to any vehicles that are calling for these really lightweight oils, um, you need to be running a full synthetic oil. Uh, I will post a link below to the AMSOIL uh, motor oils. And please take a look at those or contact me at uh, uh, post a question here on the link uh, on this channel or send me an email at info at minutemanperformance.com uh, or I'll leave our phone number down there as well. Give us a call. We can help you get set up using the best oil you can for these vehicles and we can drastically reduce your engine oil consumption and protect those engines much better than that conventional lightweight oil that uh, Chrysler is calling for uh, in their owner's manuals. Uh, that's all I got for right now. Uh, we'll see you back on YouTube. Take care. Have a great day.